For the second time in less than a year, voters in Pine Bluff will weigh in on a set of proposed sales taxes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Roly Hoyt. This latest special election now set for November 14th. And THV 11's Rebecca Brown joins us here in studio with what voters can expect this time around. Rolly and Faith, in less than two months, voters will decide whether or not to renew the Go Forward Pine Bluff sales and public safety tax initiatives. I spoke to organizations on both sides of the debate today. They tell me they're doing everything they can to get their message out again. This is a regressive tax. It's going to hurt, harm the low to moderate income individual. This sales tax um, actually helps us fund these projects um, that we need to continue to help these projects um, appear here in the community. Emotions running high in the community of Pine Bluff as voters prepare to head back to the polls for a second time this year. They'll once again vote on two sales tax initiatives, both of which failed in May. The first is focused on the public safety while the other tackles education and economic development. Two things the organization Go Forward Pine Bluff are responsible for in the city. This is really important, especially, you know, being a native of Pine Bluff, Arkansas, to be able to see these projects and initiatives that are actually helping the community grow and go. Orlandria Dunn with Go Forward Pine Bluff says her organization needs more money to complete projects like the one on 6th and Main. But president of Pine Bluff NAACP Ivan Whitfield says taxpayers should not have to fund an organization that doesn't carry out the community's wishes. It is just unwise to put this tax back on the ballot without clearing up what has happened with the first 30 million. We feel that is unfair. Both community leaders feeling strongly about their case on whether or not voters will approve the initiatives. We are really working to get the information out so that way the citizens feel really comfortable and go into the polls. I believe that this community will come together and send a strong positive message to this tax initiative that's going to say no. Again, the special election is set for Tuesday, November 14th, and if the proposal fails for a second time, Go Forward Pine Bluff will have to figure out what's next for their organization in the city.